Well, good morning, YouTube. This is Chuck. It's uh, Monday, uh, July 10th. Had to double check, make sure I was right there. And uh, as you can see, I'm over here at the park and walking old Flapjack and figured I'd take a couple minutes while it's nice and cool to make a quick video and bring you up to date on the van stuff and the repairs. As you can tell, I'm driving it, so I obviously got it done. So what did I do? That Well, there was four things and two of them were pretty important safety items. And the, but uh, the one was the brakes and I did the video on that and I, I got that taken care of and everything seems to be working just fine on that one. And the other one was the uh, gasoline smell and I was real concerned about whether I had a leak somewhere. And of course, once I pulled the doghouse cover off, I was able to figure out that and it turned out that it uh, didn't have a leak anyway. And I think what that is, is the, um, the evap canister that is, uh, for the emission system is actually mounted under the floor, pretty much directly underneath me, underneath the, underneath the vehicle. And uh, as old as that is, that thing's probably contaminated, and so it probably puts out a little bit of odor now and then. And I think that's probably what my gasoline odor is. It's nothing to worry about. And, and I checked everything I could think of to make sure that there wasn't a leak somewhere. And, it only seems to do it right after I fill it up, so that would uh, that would tell me that it's probably the evap canister. The other thing, where I left off on my last uh, video, was the uh, the manifold, the exhaust manifold leak issue, and the problems I was running into there. And I thought for a minute I was going to have to go ahead and buy a new manifold, but I ended up uh, using a little bit of shade tree engineering, and I got it figured out. And so what I did, and I don't necessarily recommend anybody else doing that but it's what I did and it worked this time is I went ahead and I loosened up uh, part of the other bolts on there and uh, and I put a, a bar in that one of those bolt holes and I pried up on it a little bit I started off with a screwdriver and I got something a little stouter than that and and I realized I was able to flex that manifold just a little bit and uh, and I didn't know whether that was enough or not well I've got a camera I've got a camera with a little probe thing on it and it's small enough it actually fit up in the bolt hole with a light. And so I went and got that and I checked and to figure out how far out of whack those bolt holes actually were. And it turned out they weren't that far off. So I thought, well, maybe, and I didn't think it was going to work, but I thought, well, just maybe I might be able to put some real grunt on that. And I might be able to flex that up enough where I can get bolts in it. So I rigged up a leverage thing with some boards and a big long pry bar and, and, uh, leaned into it and of course I couldn't film that because I didn't have enough hands and uh, so anyway uh, I actually managed to flex that cast iron manifold just a little bit and it was just enough I was able to get bolts back in both of those holes and so now even that hole that didn't have a bolt in it's got one in it now and it turned out that the uh, the majority of the rest of them were already loose as well they loosened up over time and the ones on the on the uh, driver's side bank were all loose too so they all needed to be tightened anyhow. They would all develop an uh, exhaust leak eventually. And uh, so this is uh, that was a good thing. Got it taken care of. Uh, it's very, very quiet now. It's, it's uh, run, you know, runs good. The other thing, of course, I did was it needed a routine oil and filter change. And I normally do that myself. So I got that taken care of. So it's good for another 3,000 miles. And I've got some other stuff on my list I want to do, but none of them are real safety items, and so and they can all wait for a while. And so I figured I'd bring you up to date on what's going on. So, you know, what's my next my next big project? Well, it's not van related, but my next big project is get up on the roof and see if I can find that damn roof leak over my kitchen. So uh, beautiful morning over here at the park. I'll pan you back around. I'll tell you like I always do. Uh, take care of each other. Love each other. It's a beautiful morning over here. It's going to get up in the low 90s this afternoon. Uh, there's a few people out enjoying the lake. Not really as many as there usually is. But uh, until I see you next time, I'm just going to tell you peace out.